Okay, folks, welcome back. So we are at Orange County Airport in Montgomery, New York. And we're going to fly down to Brayden Air Park this morning, uh, November 4-3. That's in Eastern Pennsylvania. I'm going to do some volunteer work today down there. So it's a beautiful day. Uh, sky's clear. Temperature is not as perfect. Outside temperature now. It is 73, no humidity, and the weather is good for it's all day. Uh, so we are going to do that and do a couple things down there. Now let's get the listen to the weather here at Orange County. Seven Celsius, altimeter three zero zero three. Remarks: Density altitude eight hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation, 1116 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility, 1-0. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 1-niner Celsius. Dew point, 1-7. Okay, got the weather. Uh, winds are calm. We're going to take 2-4, uh, because that's where we have to go anyway. Take that runway. Runway just opened, I don't know, about five months ago now, or six months ago now. So we'll do that. It's a perfect day for all this fun stuff. Hopefully get some good video in here. Uh, maybe we'll get able to see the city if there's no fog down there. But all's good. Got the flight plan in, in the uh, port flight app here. Basically a straight line. I'm going to get, matter of fact, let's put that in right now. Uh, I'm going to get flight following. It's, uh... As we taxi here, we'll put in direct to November 4-3. Or three direct, so yeah, it's 64 nautical miles away. That's a considered a cross country. Uh, anything more than 50. And flight following we're going to get out of New York. 132.75. And there's a lot of traffic in the area. So that's the... You know, going to Braden is, goes to that airspace where the, fly, the uh, airliners, you know, hit Huguenot and go into the city. One of the th one of the three airports there, and um, so we'll keep an eye out for that flight following. Density altitude is perfect. We are got plenty of fuel. Good to fly for about four hours. I don't go by the gauges. I go by the time I log in my phone, so I know how much time I put on these tanks. Gauges are just a reference for me because they're not really. Accurate, I don't think. So, here we are. We're going to do checklist. Checklist time. Always do the checklist. Sometimes I get questions about if you land and you're taking off within 10 minutes, do you still do the checklist? Absolutely do the checklist because in that time, you could have lost oil on that trip to that destination and you're going to turn around and take off within 10 minutes and have the oil or the oil's low, or your mag went bad in flight, because you, you, know, you do have right and left mags. So always do a run-up, and it only takes you know, you know less than five minutes to do all. Um, that's what we can do right now. So, be right back with you guys. Okay, checklist is complete. We'll put that over here. Always have this in a Easy, accessible place. You can pull it out in case of an emergency. Uh, everything's in the green. Oil pressure, oil temperature, cylinder temperature. Uh, we've got plenty of fuel. We are trim for takeoff. We have flaps 15 for takeoff. Uh, mixture's full rich. Prop is full forward. We'll throw in the fuel pump very shortly here. Um, and we'll get out of here. Everything looks good. Oop. Close this window. This door's locked. Latch closed. Seatbelts are on. And... 
I might have lost the outside camera again. So, that's okay. Alrighty, so we're good to go. The taxi. That gauge always sticks for some reason. Sorry, 2-2. Two, two. I keep saying 2-4, man. 2-2, two, two, we're departing here at Orange County. Ay ay ay. You'd think I would know that by now. You know where I got 2-4 from? So 2-2, two, two, Orange County. Winds are calm. Looking good. Okay, fuel pump's now coming on. Night lights on, strobes are now on. And looking good, looking good. In the green, we're good to go. Nothing's in the way of the Johnson's bar when that goes down. And Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney, November 6887, November, taking active 22 for departure, Orange County. Okay, let's roll. Good morning. This is Orange County Automated Advisory. Wind tone visibility better than 10 miles. Temperature 67.63. Altimeter 3003. Preferred some wind runway 04. Pilot's discretion. I like when it says good morning. For further services, click your mic three times for an advisory, four times for radio check. Okay, D D D D G double check here. Uh, two one. Come on, come on, two two. Two one, two two. We're good to go. Let's launch. All right, full power. Full power's in. We're on the green. Looking good. Airspeed's alive. 65, rotate. All right, gear's coming up. That's locked in. Hand back on the throttle here. Everything's still in the green. Everything looks good. Everything smells good. Okay, our course heading today is 238. And we'll get that. Okay, five over flaps coming up. Trim down a little bit. Okay, turn on course. And Orange County traffic, uh, Mooney 8, set a number of departure pattern to the west, coming through 1,300, good day. All right, 1,000 over, pull that power back. That's how fast this little plane climbs. Okay, nice and easy on the cables here. Pull that prop back a little bit. I don't want to wake half Middletown up. <laughs> Alright, looking good. Looking good. Alright. And we're going to go over to New York. Let's uh, listen to what they have going on before we uh, talk to them. So far, so quiet. New York, good morning. Mooney, November 6, 887 November, request. 6887 November, go ahead. Just a part of Orange County, sir, climbing through 2200, request flight following to Braden Air Park, uh, November 43 for 4500. November 6887, November squawk 0327, ident. 0327, ident. Alright, that's going to splash in our screen. We got that. We're on course heading. Everything's still in the green. 6887, November, radar contact 3 Southwest Orange County, leaving 2,400 feet, still without altimeter 3004, maintain VFR. 3004, we'll maintain VFR, thank you. And beautiful, clear, some haze, a good old morning haze here and there, but other than that, it's perfectly clear, nothing to worry about. It's okay, fuel pump's coming off, land light can come off now. 
Uh, we're all looking good with the fuel pressure and everything's still in the green and we're good to go and we'll switch tanks. So let me get over to Sussex area. We're kind of going southwest, so it is evens plus fives. So I'll go to 4,000 plus five for uh, VFR. So 4,500 will be our cruise, and we should be there in about 30 minutes. Oh, I got to text my friend I took off. So looking good, looking good, looking good. Our temperature is cooling down. This is a perfect time of year to fly because it's finally the cold is kind of done mixing with the hot air and turbulence and all that other fun stuff. Um, so that's almost over with. I don't mind flying in turbulent air, but it gets annoying after a while. Okay, 500 feet remaining. Nice climb, 500 feet per minute, standard rate climb and descent. So we're doing good there. And we'll switch tanks shortly. And there's some haze down by the city, so you can't see the city, even if I took the camera out. But I will pan around a little bit here shortly. Start getting that nose down a little bit, start to level off at 4,500. And nice and easy at the trim wheel. All right, so now we can do a little mixture back a little bit. Okay, beautiful.
see how long the uh, wing leveling system holds. It'll probably use one eight. And there's the black dirt down there. That is, do all the onions down there. A lot of onions they plant. Soil is very, very rich. Huge farms down there in Orange County. Look how beautiful this day is. See some of the haze out there. It's normal first thing in the morning. And then off to our right. 6887 November, New York approach 120.15. Okay, 120.15 for 8th of November. Yeah, it got me off course already. United 2143, we're 9, descending suite 7,000, we have Victor. United 2143, good morning, I expect ILS 4 right, altimeter 3003. Speed your discretion, Teterborough Tower, 119.5, good day. Speed this is a busy channel. AC4982, turn right, heading 170. Right, heading 170. Sometimes I feel bad for those guys because they're so busy with the airliners, and I'm like, here I am trying to, you know, call them. 2143, present, heading to maintain 6. They don't mind. They like us. 7 for 6,000, I'm you Papa. Uh, Millennium 7, good morning. Quebec now current, uh, 624 is closed. You can uh, proceed direct to Vings and, and expect the ILS 6 circle 1. Right there. Vings for 6 circle 1, 977. Walking 0327, we're on course, off by one degree, not bad. And of course, I got the floor flight running. And here's a lever here down here for the, um, where is it? Uh, there it is. So that's for the uh, wing leveling system right there. Meter 4916, approach 12855. I'm hoping to, at some point, I've been saving for a while. Uh, to get a uh, autopilot, um, but it's not a huge rush because this works for now. Line 977, the center maintain 4000. 4000, line 977. Okay, so Sussex should be, can't see because of the glare. So Sussex off to our 11, I can fly to them if the transfer of the fuel tanks fails, so we'll do that now. So fuel pump's coming on, and I'm gonna to switch to the left tank.
Okay, fuel pump pressure is good. Fuel pump's off. Everything looks good. All right, we'll continue on. New York Loop, Porter 121, flight level, or correction, 7,000 feet. Porter 121, good morning. Information, Victor, current, expect ILS 4 right approach, altimeter 3003. Okay, 3003, we have Victor Porter 120. Thanks. It's pretty cool, and every, you know, I get, people ask me, do I ever get lost? Um, it's, it's hard to get lost these days, uh, compared to when my other friend was flying, you know, back in the 60s and stuff like that, when he didn't have much to, to deal with, you could get lost pretty easy. But 2143, flight at 170, approach 12855, good day. When, you're, when you know your area very well, um, you can you know where you're going. You know that Sussex's coming up. You know this is the ridge. You know, you know you have your your waypoints that you put in your mentally mind that what that is where where you're going to be at that particular time. I know the the, uh, the power plant. I know the ridge. I know the airports. Approach, uh, Ultimate 400 with, uh, like we're going to hit up uh, Blairstown we'll, uh, soon. After Stillwater, direct Morristown for the visual five altimeter at Morristown uh, three zero. So I, it's it's good to. Do you really have a hard time getting lost? Yeah, if you're going somewhere uh, you prefer the just device. totally different, then you have a lot of uh, uh, equipment available to you. That's. You know, like I explained before, uh, the, you know, this yeah, app, about, uh, the four flight app's $100 a year uh, for, uh, for awareness. Ultimate 400. So, yeah, and there's a lot of little handhelds out there, too, for awareness that you could use just to kind of give you an idea where you're at, so on and so forth. So, these days it's very difficult to get completely lost. You have ATC you can tune into. Um, you know, a lot of people were afraid to use ATC, you know, you know, years ago, but these guys are awesome. And, like, I got some emails about the run-up, you know, checklist. If you're landed, you're, you're, you're picking up oil, or you're doing something, and you're there 10, 15 minutes, do, you, do I still do it? Absolutely. Yes, I do. Check your mags, oil. Just in case you had a leak on the way in, or you somehow is burning it for whatever reason, or you had an engine issue and you didn't know about. So checklist is very important. Weather is very important. But I took the I took the wing leveling system off, and it's flying better without it. If you can believe that. So we're all good. Nine seventy seven. The center maintains. We're on the green. They're going to send me over to Allentown shortly. So we'll put that in the standby. I'm sure. See what uh, they might. Send. I don't know which one they're going to give me. New York. Good morning, AC forty three forty one. So we'll wait. With Victor. I'll put in AC forty three forty one. Good morning. Expect ILS four right altimeter three zero zero three. All right. Thanks a lot. I'll put in two four point four five. See if I got lucky. It's either one or the other. So we're about 33 nautical miles away, so we can almost start our descent just a little bit, 500 feet per minute. Um, we got about 15 minutes, so we got plenty of time to descend. Ultimate 400 to set a maintain 4,000. I've, I've learned 4, ultimate 400. with this point, unless, unless I can't, I've learned to um, start descending, you know, if you're high, pretty, not far out, but reasonable, because it's very difficult, not difficult, but it is get this plane slowed down so you don't fly through the pattern and you know I used to do that all the time when I first got this plane I used to blow the pattern all the time because I was going too fast you know you gotta, obviously you have to watch your flat speed and gear speed you just can't throw everything out and expect to slow down compared to my Grumman Yankee I can just pull the power back and it just sinks like a like a rock you know Porter 121, center maintain 6,000. Center maintain 6,000, Porter 120. Beautiful. Malaya 977, fly heading 110 to center maintain 2,000. 110 down to 2,000, Malaya 977.
Looking good on the green, folks. Beautiful day, finally. Ultimate 400, traffic 12 o'clock, two miles southbound, now tuned in case 3500, type unknown. Here we're looking, Ultimate 400. Oh, just quick pan around here. There it is. Ultimate 400, heading here, 191 heavy, maintaining 7000, units 3004. Beautiful weather. Traffic inside for Ultimate 400. Ultimate 400, thank you. Lima 977 heading 090, intercept localizer. 090, intercept lane, my face up. 977, contact New York, 1276. 276. Sorry, 12377, sir. 2377? 12377, yes, sir, Millennium 977, phone. See ya. Okay, heading to 191 heavy. Okay, 12 minutes out, we'll do our decent. 191 heavy, New York approach, ILS 4 right, I'll pull the power back a little bit. I was only doing, I mean, I'm doing 135 knots. At very low power settings. In this airplane. Ultimate 400, contact New York, 12377. Let them know you uh, had that traffic in sightfall. 2377, Ultimate 400, good day. Southwest 669, New York approach, Victor Stern, ILS 4 right, altimeter 3003, fly heading 080. Heading 080, Southwest 669. Ultimate 400, at New York, Mooney 8 November, requested descent. Mooney uh, 8 7 November, descent uh, is approved. Descent approved 8 November, thank you. He's busy. I hate to, you know, some controllers want you to tell them that you're descending. Some really say you don't, don't care, but it's just. Twenty eight seven eight seven November traffic at the two o'clock five miles southeast bound altitude indicates five thousand four hundred. They may be in the descent. Contact Allentown one two four four five. One two four point four five. We'll look for traffic. Thank you. Good day. I was right. Look at that. November uh, one Lima Sarah, you with? Two o'clock, we'll look for him. Allentown, good morning. Uh, Mooney 8, the Senate member is with you at 4,200 descending for Braden Air Park. We're 687 November, Allentown approach, Allentown altimeter 3006. Are you going to type aircraft and uh, destination? Hey, 3006 altimeter, I'm a Mooney, and we're going to Braden Air Park, November 43, sir. November 7 November, Roger, maintain VFR at or above 3,500 for now. 3,500, uh, VFR is November, thank you. Okay, so he wants us to stay at that, that 3,500, and that's why I don't just descend. But sometimes I hate to, they're that busy, to uh, kind of put my mouth in there, but you have to do what you got to do. He probably has that traffic that's also descending, but he's plus 1,600, um, and he's off, or two, still looking for him. They're slowing down nicely. We are 21.9 nautical miles away. I know exactly where I'm at. I got the ridge to my right. I got my hometown, Phillipsburg, almost to my 11 o'clock. I know that factory. Um, and Britain Air Park is on, should be at our 12 o'clock. And I'm putting some mixture. Okay, 3,500, let's say right here for him for now. Minus 1,800. So, let's see. 
airplane is that? Uh, doesn't say. Oh, he's over Blairstown. See where that is. Ah, there he is. Yeah, okay, going into 287 November, contact approach 119.65. Good morning. 119.65, good morning. Hey, now, good morning. I'm at Mooney 8, send members with you at 3.5. Request a descent to Braden Air Park. Mooney 6887 November, Allentown approach. Be a part of state your discretion. Uh, my discretion will be sent. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go down. We gotta get down. So, the traffic pattern. Is 397. Is the sea level. November 564 Kilo, three miles from Music, turn right hitting 220, maintain. And you got to add a thousand to that. Local Localizer cleared, Alice, from a 24 approach. Uh, for traffic, traffic pattern, 220, so. Maintain 2500 until established, clear for the island. We'll call it 1400. Approach, 5, 6, 4, 2, it's 2, almost 1400. What we'll do is we'll go in on a 45, if I can see, procedure. We got our descent still going in. The power's back a little bit. And we'll go to traffic pattern. We'll use 1-8. And we'll use a 45 at the route. Close it. I just like doing that just because I go over, you know, when I land. Sound approach, April 4 Tango Whiskey has request. If there's anything, if there's anything I can do better, I, I will. Like exit the hold and go to the north a little bit. And come back into the hold and enter. So I'm a tear job just so we know what we're doing. Fort Tango Whiskey, maintain VFR, approved as requested. November 564 Kilo. Uh, climb on instructions, fly runway heading, maintain VFR 3000, unless otherwise directed by the tower. Runway heading up to 3000, unless otherwise directed, 564 Kilo. 64 Kilo, contact tower now, 120.5. Over tower, have a good day. 5, 6, hey, 4, 10 kilo. miles out, we'll stay right about here for now. And let's put them, I think it's 120. What is, I always forget their frequency, I should know that. Yep, it's the same one as everywhere else around here. 123.00. I'll monitor that channel and see what's going on over there at Braden. But I'll get Blairstown, I'll get Braden, I'll get a couple other airports in the area. Bumps here and there. Some pockets of cranky air. Traffic. I think I got the airport, but again, it's so difficult. This airport, it's, it's short, narrow runway. And you got trees and stuff around it. But once I see that solar field, I know it's close. And downtown, that Booney 8 November airport in sight, sir. 
28th of November, Roger, no observed traffic between you and Braden Air Park. Radar services terminated. Squawk VFR. Change to advisory frequencies approved. Wind downtown is calm. Okay, frequency change approved on Squawk VFR, sir. Thank you. Appreciate the help. Good day. Okay, winds are calm, so we'll land on 18 because that's a better runway to land at. Good morning, uh, Mooney, 8th of November is about six miles out uh, to the northeast, inbound for 1A at Braden. We come in on a 45, midfield left downwind, Braden. Summer said traffic, Mooney is a mile and a half to the uh, southwest, inbound runway 30. Farms down here, man. This country, yeah, this country is beautiful. So much to see. All right, so there's the solar field. There's a ridge. Uh, Somerset traffic runway Mooney entering left downwind runway three zero Somerset. Airport should be coming up here somewhere. I there. Uh, Worried about it. Oh, that could be it. There's a solar field. I'm trying to find this airport. Somerset traffic, Grand White Mooney turning left, base 30, Somerset. There it is. Okay. Man. Somerset traffic. Grand Wave Woody, one mile final, runway 30, Somerset. Braden traffic, uh, Braden's on a one mile 45, midfield left downwind out for 1A, Braden. Okay, so landing lights coming on. Gas, undercarriage, we are in the arc. Gear is coming down, nice and slow. Lock that in. Mixture's full rich. Prop, almost. I like, to, I don't like to jam that prop in right away, so it just you know, that be careful you don't overspeed it and all. It's not worth it. Just nice and easy. No reason to throw it in. All right, let's do one, two. Gas undercarriage mixture. Now the prop can come in. One more notch. Braden traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of Ever, midfield left now, and now for 1A, Braden. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Watch our speed. There's a solar farm in front of us. Forty five over your shoulder through that base turn. 
operating traffic. Uh, Mooney's left base now for 1-8, Braden. We have full stop. Watch our speed. Now it's a short runway. That's when I use my brakes. Short runway. You'll go all the way back when you land. Get that weight on your back two tires there. Nice turnout. And Braden traffic. Uh, Mooney's running on final now for 1-8. Be a full stop, Braden. All right, power's coming back. We're all set. Checklist is complete. We're landing. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. Up flaps are full. And Braden traffic. It moves on a short final, 1 8. Full stop, Braden. The car is like, who's this plane coming at me? <laughs> right at that road. There you have it. That's the end of the runway right there. See how short that is? So turn around. And that's why you're always set for go around. Don't be afraid to go around, folks. Do not be afraid to go around because try to put it down. It might bounce once and think you can get it back down with a short runway. Just go full power. Everything up. Go around and do it again. No reason to force stuff on the ground when you have uh, the ability to go around. Okay, we made it to Braden Air Park. So we're going to taxi. And Braden traffic, we need to back taxi on 1-8 Braden. And uh, there's no taxiways here, so you have to back taxi either air runway. Um, and I'm going to do my stuff for today. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys on the way back at some point. I don't know what I'm doing 100% today, but... Alright guys, well, thank you for flying along with me, appreciate it. And thank you for the support. Uh, thank you again for the Facebook followers, uh, 6,600 6, followers, thank you. Um, like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on Facebook. And if you have any questions, thank you for the email, guys. I appreciate it. And Braden traffic pretty clear. What are you, Braden? Um, you can email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. Questions, I'll get back to you. If I don't know the answer, I will find it for you and get it back to you. All right, guys. Until next time, fly safe, be safe. See you.